Okay? So you're going to start by opening the door. Uh, within a few seconds, the door is going to go into alarm. When you hear that alarm, there's an enter button there. Yeah. Light's green now, it'll go red. So you, just so you know it's there. Um, okay. First thing we're going to do is pop the top. There's our alarm, so red button. I have it. Alright, pop that off. Wipe it as you pull it off. Very good. And then you can set it down on the uh, on the deck. Yeah, right down below. Perfect. Alright. Over on the table here will be all the tools. The food you can find in the white fridge outside the office, down in the crisper. If it's getting low, there's additional ones in the freezer. I'll try and keep that crisper stocked. All right. Funnel fits precisely in the top. You're going to have to feed it slowly. Um, otherwise, it'll just plug up. Push it through with your rubber gloves. These food scraps originally came from the uh, cafeteria at Nate. Uh, Nate Food Services kindly provided the food scraps. Anaerobic digestion for biogas is a, a good application for making uh, something useful out of those food scraps. Otherwise, they would end up going to uh, the Edmonton Waste Management Center. Actually there they would probably mostly end up being turned into compost, which is another good application for food scraps. Regrettably, we kind of started out of order. We had intended to start logging the data first, uh, so we'll quickly move to that step uh, as soon as Cody finishes the feed. The point being is we want to capture the temperature before we impact it by adding the food from the fridge. We're obviously going to drop it. We're going to add some colder water, so we'd like to have that temperature recorded before we start interacting with it. All good? Okay, so you'll use the water to rinse out any remaining food in the funnel. Perfect. All of this stuff ends up in the sink to be washed before being placed back on the table next to the computer. Okay, we're going to catch up on our data logging. So, the, so yeah, maybe hang off on that, Cody, and we'll do the we'll record our measurements now. So, on the laptop, of course, is an Excel file with some data points, and there's a tab or a sheet for each logger. The blue sheet, of course, is for logger A. Red sheet for logger B. All right. First measurement we would take would be the gas count. Obviously, we haven't produced any gas yet, so we're at zero. After we've captured that information, we'll press this little blue button. This little blue button here will reset the digital screen and get it running for the next 24-hour cycle. Okay, little blue button right here. It'll be you'll know you've done it correctly because it'll zero the meter out. The next thing we'll capture is the kilowatt hours recorded back here off of the watts up pro meter third thing we need to capture is the temperature right here the temperature of the vessel all right Cody I'll uh, actually Doug you get your glasses on you want to read that out read out the temperature I guess please it is oh you have it already written down yeah fantastic so then 1.0 1. 1. I got 51.6 yeah okay good 51.6 we again we're zero on the gas count and you recorded the kilowatt hours I didn't record the kilowatt hours 
good. Actually, it may be watt hours. Be careful there, Doug. It yes. is watt hours, and it is 86.8. All right, so you'll have to, because that scale is in kilowatt hours, you'll have to extrapolate. record the time and the date. That can be done at any time. Uh, all right. So we can go back to our feeding processes. Make sure to wipe it off so we're not dripping whatever on the floor. And sacred pole. Thanks. <laughs> Play your glove on. It's a rite of passage in every young man's life, actually. Or young he gets granted the pool. <laughs> the scepter. <laughs> and hold on to the top, just so the vessel doesn't go all over the place. And you'll need to stir. Right for the first few days, it's going to be pretty thin. So you can stir it for about 20 seconds, you should be fine. As it gets thicker, to stir for longer, up to 60 seconds, and try and scrape the bottom uh, to resuspend anything that may have settled down there. Come, okay, as you're pulling it out, please wipe it off. That way, again, we don't end up with digestate all over all the instruments. That, of course, will also go to the sink for washing with the funnel and anything else. Take that. So we can return or restore the plug. Give it a little twist. Pressing down. Perfect. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to add water. We don't want to do that before the end of the process, otherwise as we're stirring it'll splash all over the place. So you're going to lift a little insulator. That helps us minimize the amount of evaporation we get. And you'll grab this four liter jug, fill it with hot water from the sink, go to the corner, and I, Cody, you can do that. Go to the corner, please, away from the meters and everything. So this corner here, or the opposite corner, and then slowly bring it up until you're roughly a centimeter from the top, as Doug mentioned. Water left, you can leave it in there for the next person and then carefully replace that without impacting the thermometer. Close, uh, just give it a wipe if it needs it, pick up any. You can then close the door and we can turn off the light. Ta-da!